Hey guys, my name is Shane Wells, and I go to Klein Collins High School, and I am in ninth grade. I have been cooking for about, or I have been cooking since I was around three years old. Today, my speech is called Food for Thought, and what that basically means, how my failures in the culinary world have strengthened me. As some of you guys may know, I, have, I was on MasterChef Junior, and this is about my journey getting there. My story starts in seventh grade when I tried out for the basketball team. I mean, I may not look that good at basketball, but come on guys, I'm not that bad. <laughs> and I ended up not making the team, and my brother did, and they had practiced that first Saturday. And I was really disappointed. And at that moment, I could have chose to not try out for anything again. I could have chose to quit or hide in a ball and just be done. But my mom motivated me, and she, and we went to the Master Chef Junior open call just to have a good time with one of my friends, not expecting much at all, because there were thousands of kids there. And I ended up going, and it turned out well. They said if you get a call back, which most of you won't, it'll be around one or two weeks. And I ended up getting a call back within the hour, and then just kept going on and on from there. We had the qualifying rounds, made it past round one, made it past round two, and believe me, guys, we made it past the bat round checks, too. So we were succeeding there. <laughs> So around two weeks after all the qualifying rounds, I got a call, and they wanted to fly me out to L.A. And so they flew me out to L.A., and I knew at that moment that even if I went home the next day, if I was there for maybe two days, how many kids could say they got flown out to L.A. for a TV show? Not many. And I thank that coach for this day, to this day, for not picking me on that team. Because the basketball season is long over, but this is forever. And and so I ended up getting my wad apron and going from the top 40 to the top 20. And so yet again, my parents always reminded me, my mom and dad, saying, "If you get out the next, if you get out the next day, how many kids could say they made it this far? Not many." So I went in there with that mindset each and every time. And so I ended up making it to the top 18, making it to the top 16. Then came the vegan challenge. <laughs> a Texan boy cooking a vegan burger. I mean, believe me guys, I can still cook meat, but I ended up winning this challenge out of 16 kids. I made the best vegan, I made the best vegan burger. Now that deserves a round of applause. And due to me winning that challenge, I got, to be, I got to be the team captain for the very next challenge. And I ended up winning that challenge too, so I felt like I was on top of the world. And then came my enchiladas. <laughs> the dish that I'm most confident with, the dish that I make on a weekly basis, is the one that I mess up. And yet again, at that moment, I could have chose to let that define me. But I decided to push from that. I decided for that to give me that extra strength that I need to make my way through the challenge. And I ended up not going home on that challenge, thankfully, and I made it all the way to the top four. And I had to cook, each person had to cook a different meat, and I got to cook pork. And believe me or not, guys, I had to cook this two-inch pork chop. Two inches. It was crazy. And here's a useful tip that I did not know at the time. I made a soy sauce glaze, and when you cook down soy sauce, the saltiness is cooked out. Me not knowing that, I went light on the salt on the pork chop, and so it made the pork chop under seasoned, which ultimately sent me home. But it's okay, because this was an amazing experience getting to do all of this, and it's led to many open doors. I've been to a bunch of, I've been to some amazing restaurants, cooked with some amazing named chefs. I also got to create a menu item for the Klein ISD lunch. So, so it has just been an awesome experience. It has just been an amazing experience being able to do this. And I want to leave you with this, food for thought. You may not win every challenge, you may not make every team, and every dish you may make may not be good, but a true, truly successful person is how they handle failure. They can let it define them or they can grow from that. And that decision jurors. Thank you, Shane Wills.